Hello, welcome to the new vlog episode, but it's still last night and I just finished the edit and uh, I just got some vegan gelato. We got pistachio and strawberry. You getting tired? That's a strawberry. That's a pistachio. The one with pistachio is the best. Wow. Nice, yeah, that's what we got. If you watched in the last vlog, Adam and I wanted to save some money tonight. We also wanted to have an adventure, and we were gonna sleep on the beach, just like park our bikes by the rocks, and we don't have sleeping bags, we don't have anything, and we're just gonna sleep on the ocean, which we might do later this trip, probably will, to save money and to have experience, but the awesome vegan dude that works here, um, when I got my ice cream, I was like, hey, how's the beach kind of up there? We're thinking about sleeping there tonight. He's like, really? You're just gonna sleep there? You don't have a tent? He's like, come on guys, you sleep in my house. And I was like putting that energy out there and it came right back and he seems like such an awesome dude. And Adam and I, this bump, are so freaking stoked. So Thanks Leonardo. Have, thanks Leonardo. We don't have to sleep on the ocean, or on the sea tonight, on the seashore. We're sleeping <laughs> on the sea. at a vegan dude's house. Okay, it's like 11.30 and we are leaving Haiku. What a beautiful name, Haiku, like a poem. I should write haikus. Uh, we're leaving Haiku with Leonardo right over there and we're headed to his house to sleep. Leonardo's taking us on a late night, midnight tour of the city, Catania. Look at this church. It's so beautiful. So we're in Leonardo's place and the first thing I see, check this out, he is brewing booch. Look at those nice healthy scobies. I gotta try some local Italian booch. Awesome. Is this uh, flavored with anything or just regular? No, no, regular. Regular. Without anything. Wow. I use that is really good. That's hot. That is here. Yeah. Really good flavor. Do you use green tea <laughs> or black tea? Green tea. Green tea, Green tea. yeah, same. Well, Showing my host the vlogs. Get to do that whenever I stay with people. It's so much fun. They love watching it, but they didn't. Leonardo gave us some Iperico oil. Right, don't eat it. I'll wash, I'll wash See, my hands then. This is Iperico flower oil. <laughs> It makes you fart. And yet again, another example of the amazingness of humanity and also just how enchanted my traveling experiences always are. Meeting people at a vegan restaurant, getting a tour of the city, getting beds to sleep on, oils, tea. Ugh, this, is, this, is, this is what I love. This is what I live for. Connecting with living human beings who are kind and compassionate and just wanna help. That's what I love. I want to interact and get to know as many of those human beings as humanly possible. Uh, so we are going to go to sleep now. It's like one in the morning. Incredible amazingness. I have no more words and the vlog will continue when I wake up. So I'll say much love Dream Extreme, but this is just the beginning of the vlog. Good morning, had a great sleep. Look at the city view, we're making breakfast. Good morning, Leonardo. Good morning. He's made us special tea concoctions. You're like, you're like the tea master. You love tea. Yeah, I love it, <laughs> really. Are you ready to rock, my my handsome vegan cycling companion? See, si. check out Adam has uh, implemented the man bun. Why what do you guys call think? Me out. Come on! What do you don't mean? They me they want to see it. Let's see the man no, bun. I'm over it. Give me a profile. No. Oh my god! Bring it in. Thank you so much, man. I really nice appreciate it. And good luck for everything. Uh, Leonardo was the man, and he gave us a full bottle of booch for the road. I think it's better than Jackson's. No, you don't. Have you tried mine? That right 
right there is a volcano, Mount Etna, supposedly the largest volcano in Europe. We could, we could bike up it or not. Highway all day. There's no other roads. Where is the ocean? I want the ocean back. I want the sea back. You gotta stop saying ocean. You guys are hating on me. I mean, it's all, <laughs> it's all salt water anyways, but I guess it's a sea, whatever. But yeah, this is like the most American looking highway. Uh, it's pretty beautiful out here. That's Mount Etna, the volcano. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of a little bit inland, heading up there, eating chips. We got a loaf of bread later for lunch. It's, it's good. That's a big loaf of bread. It's beautiful. It was really good bread. Sipping on bread and booch. <laughs> Lean back, got my Italian mind on my grape farms and the... Just stop. <laughs> Adam drank two beers, it's 11.30. He's gonna be a happy boy. <laughs> Don't get a BUI, biking under the influence. That's a real thing. As you can see, we got off the highway. I found some back roads and the road's a tiny bit rougher, but as you can hear, no sounds, no cars. You can ride in the middle of the road, just olive trees and fig trees on the side. This is so much better. The back country roads here, they never fail. It's always a better idea than the big highways. Cheaper. Just taking a quick blackberry break. Unlimited. Uh, foraging roadside fruits in Italy. It's amazing. I swear we're eating maybe $15 worth in LA of blackberries for free. Organic style. They're so yeah, sweet. Really They're so sugary. Blackberries. Yeah. Yeah. This looks all right, right? Yeah. Dude, we're finally getting this bike trip thing. That was like the smoothest lunch we've gotten. Boom, two seconds, planning ahead. By the way, I checked the ingredients. There's no chicken in this barbecue potato chips. Yeah. This is only my first of the day. Of lunch. Right. First for this meal. I oh, yeah. uh, try to keep up with the Italians, man. Yeah. No shame, it's just carbs. It's light. Nice long lunch break. And we had a couch surfing host that said we could stay with her, but she hasn't given us uh, the details of the uh, of where we need to go exactly to her house. So we're gonna head towards her house, but we don't know exactly if she'll contact us again. So it'll be a gamble, but we're gonna do it. She lives uh, a bit south of a town called Syracusa in Casa Bile. So uh, we're heading there and hopefully we'll have a couch surfer tonight. It's hot out here. It's real hot. The good news is that we have about 10 more miles to go uh, for the day and that our couch surfing host got back to us and we're staying with her tonight. She's a mom, her profile says she's an unschooler, so she like homeschools her kids, lives kind of out in the countryside. It's gonna be an awesome experience. But I don't see Adam and he's dragging a bit. He said that his butt 
feels like he's sitting on razor blades. And that doesn't sound pleasant. My butt's doing just fine. So I'm just waiting for him and hoping that he pops out of the corner any mo there he is. Yes. Oh, I feel so bad for Adam. He is not a slow rider, but right now, and I know he's not gonna feel bad when he sees me saying this because right now he's probably sitting in a chair on, or on his bed in his underwear at a couch surfer's house watching this vlog, laughing his butt off. But right now, he is dragging ass. He's going really slow and I feel bad because he's hurting, but I also want him to freaking go so that we can get in the ocean. But I should not complain because when you are waiting for Adam next to a gorgeous blackberry bush. I could wait here all day. Oh. Ah. I have ascended out of the hobbit hole. Jeez, oh my god. Well, well, we get a treat for going through that. Blackberry bush. Look at these guys. Actually, I should say ladies right here. Just doing their thing, living life, eating food. So beautiful. Can you believe we paid people to kill these so that we could eat them in our past? I sure am happy that I don't do that anymore because it would make me just so sad. They're so, they're so lovely. Our host tonight said to bring food, so we're stopping in the town. Oh, look at these cyclists. Ciao! Stopping in the town uh, right before her countryside house and grabbing some groceries to cook tonight. And once again, we've almost ended our riding day in paradise. This is the stuff I live for. I don't even mean it figuratively. This is like, oh, I just have to... Oh, let me just explain. After that ocean swim, the sea swim, we had to climb up these switchbacks. I didn't take my camera out because Adam and I were just like hungry and tired. We're like, let's get here. We went up these incredible switchbacks in these mountains for like 30 minutes and got to our couch surfer's home. She lives on this beautiful, little garden nature property up soup we're like probably a thousand two thousand feet probably a thousand feet up and she has little babies in like a sling her babies on her chest and she's so nice i'll go introduce you to her but look at this property it's like look at this yucca and and we're staying here and it's just like total hippie vibes and i love it so much and we're gonna cook dinner now. I'm, I'm so happy. He's coming. Hi. Hi. Check out this awesome kitchen. This is Nicole. Thank you so much for hosting us tonight. Hi. <laughs> and this is Amir. Hi, Amir. Hi. <laughs> uh, such a cool house. Happening? <laughs> this one I'm so yep. cool. <laughs> What's 
and boom, just like that, there's dinner. Pretty enchanted day, huh? This is awesome. So awesome. Dude, how amazing is it gonna be to descend tomorrow morning? Oh my gosh, yes. I how, how, about you? That. how great is that gonna be? My butt hurts still. I know, I'm sorry. I feel bad. Don't, I'm just a baby. No, you're not a baby. It's like, I spent so much time in the saddle in the last few years, and Adam, <laughs> we biked across the country in 2011, and he hasn't really ridden a bike since then. I do like around ride around, town, but, but he has he doesn't yeah. he's not like a cyclist. He's not into it. Yeah, it's just not what he does. So to go from nothing to like a hundred kilometers a day, his butt hurts. It makes sense. I feel bad, but you're a strong man. Yes, amazing day with our amazing hosts. We're, we're learning about unschooling, how she educates her children. It's beautiful just to open your mind about concepts that are alternative that's like what i love like let's break the status quo and learn about doing things differently in life i love it tomorrow we might go to malta that would be cool we also might not we'll see and you'll get to watch uh but we really don't know we'll have to take a ferry we don't have tickets we'll just go with the wind whatever it does <laughs> thank you for watching my videos i appreciate you much love dream extreme